and so we'll give it a minute here to kind of let everything catch up here. If anyone's out there and you got this, type some kind of a comment so I know what's going on. Ain't got long to talk, but here it work. Okay, well, just give you a little update on what's happening. There ain't been a whole lot going on around here this winter. Of course, it's winter time in northern, northeastern Michigan, over on the sunrise side of this state. We haven't had a whole lot of snow. You know, I think total around this area here, I think we've only had like 11 inches so far. So far, knock on wood. Yeah, last week we got between four and five, and we've had a couple snows at ah, two, two and a half inches, three maybe. Had a couple ice storms. That sucks. I don't know how I can deal with snow, but the ice is uh, be two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago on Saturday, I come into work. It was 34 degrees when I come in. Slight mist. When I got out of here at 1 o'clock, it was ice. I mean, I had to let my truck warm up in order to uh, <laughs> even scrape the ice off. I had a heck of a time getting the doors open and everything else. It was miserable. Went on this year, or so far this year, this winter. Of course, ain't got nowhere to shoot. I uh, definitely miss being downstate with my indoor range out at the gun club where I could shoot in the wintertime. But here, it's just I've been popping off a few BBs here in the in the garage there. And uh, other than that, I haven't done a diddly squat really. Put a new uh, uh, wish no. TR25 on uh, the Ruger PC9 and uh, ain't even had a chance. I just kind of bore sighted it. I haven't even had a chance to get that out there to get it really sighted in. Went deer hunting this year, first time in 12 years, and got a little doe and picked up the meat yesterday. Man, it, uh, salami sticks are, we had cheddar cheese put on them. Excellent, excellent. Man, they taste good. So we'll get into backstrap, tenderloin, some burger. And that's about it. You know, it's just, this is going to be a quick vlog. I haven't done one in a while. I thought, well, I got a few minutes here. I come in, I start at 5 o'clock and uh, got the coffee going, got some sandwiches in the machine, and everything's pretty well. Got the cigarettes counted, the lottery counted. So I've got a few minutes to kill, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a quick vlog and uh, let everybody know I'm still out here. And, uh, yeah, I uh, went over to Frank's Great Outdoors there, looking for a little bit of reloading supplies. They didn't have diddly squat and reloading. Total waste of time. They didn't even have a whole lot of selection in handguns. They had quite a few rifles, shotguns, muscle loaders, but... That's really not my thing, <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. But here, weather breaks, and you know, sometime March, April, I want to run up to Gaylor to uh, Jay's. I know they have everything up there. They've got a buku bunch of reloading stuff. I got to start stocking up. As far as the impeachment goes, total waste. I don't know what's going to happen there. Well, we know what's going to happen. It's going to going to find it. They're going to acquit him. Life will go on as usual. It'd be an election year. It's up to us, the voters, whether we want to forget or not. I mean, it's crazy to do it in, during an election year. If we vote him in again, hey, America spokes. If we don't, then God knows what kind of garbage we're going to get out of the Democrats. It's a nice rally down in uh, Virginia last week. Uh, I was glad to see that many people. I mean, I guess it was estimated between 22 and 50,000. More 22 is what the local, I guess, law enforcement or whatever they had, but it's been rated up to 50. I don't know. I know there's a pass a load of people. It's too bad every state when we have a, something like this can't turn out. Just the people in Michigan alone, you know, there's no reason for us not to have two, three thousand. It minimum 
We normally average around 500 to 500 to 1,000, I would say. And uh, got another one. They got one coming up here a couple next week, I think. Uh, there's a local uh, couple local ships putting one on over there. But they're talking a red flag crap here in Michigan. Fortunately, we have a Republic, Republican Senate and, uh, uh, House representatives. So I've already contacted my representative. And, yeah, you know how that goes. He gets a form letter says, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I support this. I support that. And we're going to have, uh, she's definitely against it, but. That all remains to be seen. So it is what it is, but that's probably the biggest fear I have as far as uh, any of these gun control measures is that red flag law. You know, where they could just, somebody just he gets PO'd at you and say, well, it's got this hazard to itself or the community or whatever, and they come in and just take your gun without any kind of due process. Then you got to spend all that money to try to get your guns back. Prove your innocence and there's no time set that that can happen, so it might be up to a year, you know. I just uh, thought I seen somebody walking around back there. Uh, yeah, it's just total cluster, you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, doing pretty good. Just re injured my knee here a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I don't know what I did to that. I hope it ain't nothing serious, but. Living up here, of course, I ain't got no doctors up here. All my doctors are downstate, and the weather ain't been good enough to be driving down there, so I've just been heating it and icing it and exercising it and trying, <laughs> trying to get the soreness out of it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, you know, it's just ain't a lot. I see we got one viewer out there. Anyway, if you could, uh, well, they just clicked off, so. Anyway, uh, like I said, this is going to be a quick vlog just to let, let you know I'm still around. Don't plan on going anywhere. Hopefully this uh, spring I get with Dan, uh, the firearm guy, or Jordan over at uh, BIM Tactical and get a hold of them honchos and maybe get some shooting in with them or something. But uh, I'm being careful, in case you're at thinking, I'm being careful not to show where I'm at because it's against company rules to do any photographing video blah 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 so not that they're going to see my videos i mean nobody else hardly sees them but <laughs> just to be on the safe side i thought well i'll just block it off make sure it ain't seen i'm actually sitting here i can i can say this because i don't have anything to do with this i'm sitting on the subway side of where i work and i don't have anything to do with subway so i can say that but the other part i can't uh can't do anything with. So I thought, well, we're going to run it up to almost nine minutes. We'll try to go to 10 here. and It'll be 10 minutes of your time that you'll never get, according to Mr. Holster. Anybody that uh, doesn't know, know Mr. Holster, he's uh, suffering from cancer, and uh, they've got a fundraiser going up over to the Crazy Scotsman's channel. When I get home, I'll try to put a link in uh to that, they've got a giveaway going at six thousand. Uh, at six thousand dollars, I think they've got one of. Uh, they've got two of Mr. Holster's guns. One of them is uh, a Beretta 92 FS, I believe. It's a Beretta 92. I'm not sure on the series. I think it's FS, but I ain't gonna say. And a double-barreled uh, coach gun. Yeah, I believe it's a 12 gauge. There again, I'm not quite sure. But if you for a ten dollar donation, you make a donation to the I think it's a GoFundMe page and uh, email Crazy Scotsman. You know, just uh, take a picture of your donation and uh, email it to Crazy Scotsman. I mean, ten dollars chance of winning two guns. That's, that's pretty good odds, you know, pretty good chances. So anyway, we're gonna cut this thing off and. Uh, just want to say thank you for watching when you do see this if you do see this <laughs> but uh meantime you know god bless america and armed forces past and present thank you for coming in joining in appreciate you have a great year 
all that good stuff. We'll see you later.